Hey everybody, this is example number 12 for steel design for tension members. The problem statement that we have is a horizontal wind load of 10 kips acts on the pin connected structure shown below. Member AC and BD are used to brace against the wind load and are assumed to act only in tension and do not take any compression. And we need to choose threaded rods for both of these members using LRFD if the steel material is A36 steel. So here's our figure of this pin connected structure. We have four joints A, B, C, D, and we have a horizontal wind load acting at joint B. And and member AC, the diagonal braces AC and BD uh, take only tension and do not take any compression. And we have to choose a threaded rod size for these members, AC and BD, the, the diagonal braces. Before we proceed to the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley's software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. And here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels, so please check them out. And now coming back to our pin connected structure. The first thing we need to do is calculate the factored load based on ASCE 7 load combinations and we're using the code ASCE uh, 2010. And so since we only have a wind load, Load combination 4 is going to be the controlling case, and here is load combination 4. It's 1.2 times dead load, plus 1.0 times wind load, plus live load, plus 0 0.5 times the roof live load, or snow load, or rain load. And so the factored load is going to be since everything else is zero, we're just left with 1.0 times wind, which is 1.0 times 10 kips, which is 10 kips. So the next step is to calculate the tensile force in the brace AC. Okay, so before uh, we, um, to do this, we need to isolate joint C and do the method of joints on joint C to find and do static calculation. But before that, let's go back to our figure here. And let's first take a look at joint B. So here at joint B, we have this horizontal wind force. And first of all, this is a pin connected structure, meaning that all members in this structure can take either compression or tension. Okay? So if we look at joint B, we mentioned earlier in the problem statement that member BD and AC, the diagonal braces, don't take any compression. So this means that for this loading scenario, if we have this wind load acting horizontally at joint B, since BD does not take any compression, there won't be any load on BD. It's not taking any load. So now we're left with member AB. So if we look at joint B, where we have a member AB framing into it and member BC framing into it. But as I mentioned previously, this is pin connected, pin connected structure, so members only take compression or tension. So member AB will not see any load because it can only take t tension or compression. And this wind load is a horizontal load. So this tells us that in member BC, 
in order to maintain equilibrium at joint B, there must be a 10 kip force. And I'm going to write negative 10 because it's in compression. So if we're looking at joint B, this is joint B. We have the 10 kip force, the wind load. This is the W. And then this is member, the force in member BC. So now that we know that there is a compression force in member BC equal to the wind load, now we can isolate joint C. We can isolate joint C and figure out the tensile load in the diagonal brace AC. So here's our joint C. And we have member, F, uh, member BC framing into it and member AC framing into it. So we have this compression force FBC. And then we have a tensile load FAC, the force in the diagonal brace. So if we sum the forces in the horizontal direction, we just do simple statics and find that the FBC minus FAC times 1 over the square root of 2. So the force, the tensile force in brace AC is equal to 10 times the square root of 2 kips. And this is our, this is our design, this is our design tensile loading. Now we're going to calculate the required area of the threaded rod based on AISC equation J3.1. And here's the equation. So the design strength is equal to resistance factor times a nominal tensile stress times, the, uh, times a nominal unthreaded body area of our threaded part, so the cross-sectional area. So, so our design loading is equal to the resistance factor of 0 0.75 times FNT. And FNT is equal to 0 0.75 times the ultimate tensile strength. And this is per uh, table J3-J3.2, J3 table J3.2 in the 13th edition of the AISC manual. And then we have AB here. So we rearrange this equation and we solve for AB and we find that AB equals 0.4335 inches squared and the formula for the cross-sectional area is equal to pi D squared over 4 so we rearrange this equation uh, we rearrange this equation and we solve for D so the diameter so the diameter is equal to the square root of 4 times the cross-sectional area divided by pi and we plug in the numbers and we find that the minimum required diameter is equal to 0.743 inches. So for design purposes, we're going to use a 3 quarters inch diameter threaded rod. And this is the end of this example. Uh, and in this example, we just did the LRFD approach. So please subscribe to the channel, uh, like our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash engineering examples. And please visit our, our website and sign up for our email list at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.